Hello everybody, this is Ducey, and today we are taking a look at Encounter Plus and D&D Beyond. Specifically, how to send your roles from D&D Beyond to Encounter Plus. This has been so useful to have since D&D Beyond has some great tools for your players and Encounter Plus has some awesome tools for DMs. And while there are plans to bring more player tools into Encounter Plus, like better character sheets and rolling and everything in here natively, until then, we can push our roles straight from D&D Beyond into Encounter Plus with the help of a little extension, not made by Encounter Plus, but made by Bob, also known as RR George over in the Discord. And thank you so much for this extension. It is a lifesaver. It is available for chrome and firefox and it is called encounter beyond hopefully it's coming to safari soon we will see there are some changes in how safari's extension distribution works so i know that bob is trying diligently to see if that can get up and running or if that is not a possibility the first thing that we need to do is in encounter plus we have to make sure that we have the web server turned on and set up. And I've got another video showing you all the details of how to get that up and running. And all I want to point out here is that what I'm about to show you can work with the local IP address or it can work with it set up publicly. So you should be able to get the advantage of this when you're all playing in the same place without having to do port forwarding and whatnot. However, that is the time when it's really the most useful. So. Now that we've got our web server on and set up, and again, I've got a video that I'll link to up here somewhere or in the description that explains how to get that set up. Now it's turned on. We're gonna go to D&D Beyond, bring up our character. We're gonna go to our external screen web client here that I've got set up already. And again, you can get the uh, your own URL for that after you're all set up in the web server under details. I have mine set to use this domain instead of an IP address, which is why mine might look a little different than yours. Yours will probably just be your IP address, a bunch of numbers. But you will need to know that for Encounter Beyond. Maybe. We'll see. There's a shortcut. I want to show you how that works. So now we will go to install Encounter Beyond. And you can just Google Encounter Beyond. And it pops right up in the Chrome extension website there, the Chrome extension store. Though, of course, you could just add Firefox and it pops up right here in Firefox as well. But it is pretty easy to get to. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to Chrome. Yes, let's add the extension. I'm not syncing in this browser right now, so I'll just close that. And up here, it did not pop up here, but underneath the little puzzle piece here is where you should be able to find extension settings for Encounter Beyond. Now I'm gonna go back to D&D Beyond and pop open Encounter Beyond here. And there's some information here that we can add in like our remote host. But let's test this out. Let's see if this works. This checkbox says automatically determined from web client. So it's actually just looking at whether or not I have this open, the web client from client.encounter.plus. And if it does, it will automatically pull the remote host for me and try to start sending roles over. I found sometimes if I've installed it while I already have stuff open, I might just need to give things a quick little refresh. So I'm just refreshing those pages and let's see if the roll sends over. Perfect. There's my roll and it got pushed over right here into Encounter Plus. And on the external screen, if I bring up the chat log, there it is as well. Awesome. That's all there is to it to get set up. It automatically pulled in the information you needed. But if for some reason it didn't, we can go back to this puzzle piece and I'm just, I'm just gonna pin this here so it stays up here for me. You can see it pulled this in, but you could type it in yourself there. And notice it needs to be not just your IP address or I've got a domain, but it needs to have HTTP colon slash slash in front of it. And there's one cool little extra that Bob put in here that I love. You can check this box. When sending damage from Vicious Mockery, send a random insult from the following list, one per line. So you can put your favorite insults from there. And when you go click on Vicious Mockery to cast it, it will automatically push that insult over. Super fun. Well, that is it. Now all of your roles will push. And it is so handy to have. This is a great way to play remotely. Just add in something like a Zoom call, a Discord call, Skype, whatever, phone call, doesn't matter. With these tools, you are set to run some really great remote games. 
So I hope you guys have a great time playing D&D with Encounter Plus. And if you have any questions about how to get this or anything else up and running or how things work, head on over to the Discord. There's a bunch of us in there willing to help. Or you can check out their Facebook or subreddit. Thanks.